Next, we're going to show you guys a boss. We're actually going to take a look at uh, the, the Death Egg robot of the Death Egg Walker. He was the final boss in Sonic 2. Unlike Sonic 2, thankfully, you will not have to face him with zero rings in this one, and you will not have to fight Silver Sonic or Mecha Sonic or whichever term you'd like to use for that Sonic that was there in the original game. So to go there, here we go. Now, as you play through the game, um, you'll see those, those kind of keyholes, and you'll be unlocking the, the bosses as you play through each level. So you play through one era, you'll fight that boss, then you'll go to the next era, fight that boss onto the next era. So this boss battle can only be played as Classic Sonic because in terms of canon, in terms of history, Classic Sonic was the one who fought this enemy in Sonic 2. So you're going to see a short little introduction. Again, some of you hardcore fans, I'm sure, have seen this already. But we'll see how we do. Um, this boss typically kind of challenging on your first playthrough. I kind of relate him to the original Sonic bosses, which is the very first time you faced them. You didn't know what moves they were going to use. You didn't know how they were going to fight. That's what made them challenging just like a lot of old school games. But as soon as you figured out you know, what they were doing, which moves to use, it was much easier and it's kind of a cakewalk. So here's classic Sonic, almost speeding over the edge. Not quite. He sees something he does not like. Yeah, he recognizes this guy. No good, the Death Egg robot. So classic Sonic will jump to his feet. Here we go, and classic Sonic is mute. Um, modern Sonic will talk, modern Tails, classic Tails will talk, but classic Sonic, since he didn't really have a voice, um, back in the original games, won't have a voice in this one. He'll instead, what he'll do is he'll show what he intends to do through his actions. And we thought that was a very fitting way to, uh, to bring Classic Sonic into the equation and to bring his role into the story. So this robot, not quite this big in the original Sonic 2, but it's a really nice sense of scale here to see little Sonic going up against this towering behemoth. And Classic Sonic, for all his black eyes and his slight chub going on, um, perhaps one of the, the more loved versions of Sonic out there, I think. Certainly within the fan base, Classic Sonic is extremely popular. Um, we've got Classic Sonic merchandise. It's very popular now in, in stores, so here we go. There's two parts to this fight. In this part, uh, old Eggman there is going to use that arm to try and destroy us, and instead what we've got to do is trigger these mines. I'll show you guys right over here. Oh, he's hit one already. So when he hits one, you'll see those arrows coming down. Those tell us where to go. What we want him to do right now is to swing right around here. So we'll stay here for a second, fake him out, and then run. Now what we've got to do, and this is kind of tricky because we destroyed those platforms, we've got to jump over. There we go. We'll spin down the arm and then hit him on the head. Throw a couple insults at him. All right, now we're getting close to the end here. Oh, it's going to be close. All right. Typically, again, this fight is a little bit more difficult when you're trying to figure out what to do. I mean, you guys have seen me do it, so now it uh, should be a cakewalk for you in the final game. And we'll try and get him to hit one more mine. This one on the two. All right, here we go. So, yes, Eggman, uh, another fun character that's had a lot of history, often called Dr. Robotnik. I mean, that was the original name in the West. Eggman was always the name um, over in Japan, and now it's, it's kind of a mix of both. Eggman is what you'll find us referring to him as um, in, in almost all cases. His, his real name technically still also Robotnik, but we've got both going on. So that is the end of the Death Egg Robot. Classic Sonic finishes it. So I hope you guys are all as excited as we are for the fact that this game is coming out in just a matter of weeks. It is out November 1st on both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and then the 3DS also coming out right after that. Oh, and you guys have probably heard by now, yes, there is a PC version. Yes, it's really out there. Um, the best kept secret ever, right? So. Um, I hope fans of, of all versions of Sonic games, of all different styles of Sonic, and of course, whether you're on a PS3, a 360, or a PC, you can be excited now. Um, so this game is coming out November 1st. Thank you very much.